Okay, so today I'm going to showcase my Pi3 status and you might have noticed my i3 box which has not changed much but uh, the Pi3 status has updated um, recently and you can see I have new modules uh, at the bottom and uh, uh, Pi3 status comes with many modules out of the box so I don't have to write any code or any, any, any kind of script uh, to uh, make any of these things work. Um, so at the bottom you can see the network status that is the uplink and downlink speed my currently playing music st uh, status and you can see the uh, memory status and the disk uh, write and uh, read speed uh, and then the memory uh, total memory in, uh, currently in use um, so overall i think it, it is a convenient way to you know if if you don't like to set up uh, i3 blocks then the, the best way to start something like this is by using pi3 status because it, because it comes with um, uh, a lot of scripts inbuilt uh, it is like i3 blocks contri contribution package okay i3 blocks contrib um, so a uh, pi3 status comes with a lot of script inside it so i don't have to code uh, any of this okay so right now, um, I can use my laptop's um, play next, play previous, play pause buttons. So when I, when I move, when I change the keys, it just simply plays, you know. It can be also done with i3 blocks, but you know, you don't have to do anything in the case of Pi3 status. So let me quickly show my config files of Pi3 status. It goes in the uh, config folder and i3 status I believe. Yeah, config. So this is all about the configuration file just to make all these things work. Okay, um, so this is the order of how things are displayed. Um, so if you can see the general uh, says the color and interval of this uh, entire Pi3 status. Um, it is set to 10 seconds and you can change that if, if you need and this is the order I have the net rate uh, this is, which is an input script I don't have to do anything for that and then the external script is uh, which is that uh, the, the, the player this is an external script it's just nothing big um, if you have player CTL installed in your system which is kind of an API uh, for all the media is playing in your system uh, which interacts yes me okay but i will uh, show the man page of it this is the player style a uh, player cdl module so it can be installed with pacman and uh, it it maintains a daemon which you know in, in, in keep track of all the medias running in your system so that uh, whenever you play next play pause you know play previous when you press a, any key any of these keys it immediately interact with the uh, corresponding application which is doing the task of this media uh, so it is convenient so this does not matter which player you use as long as it supports um, the player ctl daemon I mean, there is an api which they provide um, which they didn't specify here i think yeah here you go mpras enabled media players so as long as you have i think most of the players have i use uh, clementine and uh, spotify and um, and lollipop most of these players have this uh, mpras enabled media they are mpras enabled so i don't have i can use um you know player ctl with the, uh, with uh, these players of course you can make your own um, um, what do you call application by using this player CTL because it provides an API which you can uh, see up at the bottom you can see it, you, you can follow the github link, link for the player CTL which is this or alt desktop app and player CTL okay so here you go this is my configuration file uh, to make these uh, player my net rate status currently I don't have my 
network up so you can already see the um, zero zero uh, because my uh, network is down so that's it anyway when you come to the memory yeah you can uh, adjust the interval accordingly so that it will display it in you know status in real time I don't bother about um, reducing the time period you know to to like five seconds or anything because I think it is an overkill by the way binary status can be installed by using pip mm, okay where is now? which python status um, is installed in the bin folder so it can be installed with pip pip freeze think grab pip3 there you go so i'm currently using python status 3.36 okay last thing to do go to your i3 blocks i mean i3 config and you might have a bar for your i3 blocks which is here so you can define another bar and you can set the position to bottom and you can set a font like any font and um, you have to set box space buttons to no because it, it feels more compatible uh, you can also turn that on but that's up to you but i don't i don't i don't see any point in enabling the uh, workspace number um, but then you can come to this uh, status command to by three status and uh, then the transparency can be enabled i use um pycom in um, i3 blocks uh, which made the which made everything transparent uh, yes and uh, yeah that's all about this. this i have to set the color to this in order to make the uh, battery status transparent that's it that's all about the my battery status setup so i think this look is more con uh, more convenient because you can up at, up at the top you can see the uh, what do you what do you have I mean what is necessary can be uh, shown up at the top and uh, you know your network status and your player status everything can be uh, displayed in the bottom that's it and that's all about my by3 status setup and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it thank you all for watching okay I will quickly show my uh, music external script which is specified in the by3 status um music just weird naming that's it uh, this is all about the script because i i said that it is an external script i didn't specify what is in the script this is it player cdl which maintains the information of currently pay, uh, playing media and i just you know uh, run the command and uh, said and extract what is actually playing that's it so if you simply run I have currently something playing you can see there uh, but if you play CTL and metadata player CTL metadata you can see you have this uh, artist and then the um, actual where is the file I think this is an album playing, but yeah, this is it. nobody's listening. Okay, that's that's all about it. So uh, you know, then the rest uh, you can just set up things and just display the stuff here. That's all about the external script that I've shown um, in the Python status external script. And and one more thing, just a, a quick um, Python status. A quick, I should make a key bind for this by three by three status now what am i doing this is in the config folder uh, config three status config and 
um, yeah, this is how you specify external scripts. Okay, you specify the script path and you and you give the path of it. That's it. Um, so yeah, that's how you can set up the uh, player status in the Python. Pi3 status.